Good day, everyone. Father Jimmy, hope you're doing well on the 17th day of October. It is Thursday. Let's see what we're celebrating today liturgically. Today we are celebrating a memorial of St. Ignatius of Antioch, who lived from 50 to the year 107. He was one of the great bishops of the early church. He was successor of St. Peter as Bishop of Antioch. He was condemned to death by wild beasts during the Emperor Trajan's persecution. On his way to Rome, he wrote seven magnificent letters, which we still have today, concerning the person of Christ, his love for Christ, his desire for martyrdom, and on the constitution of the church and Christian life. His sentiments before his approaching martyrdom are summed up in his word in the communion antiphon at our Mass today. I am the weed of Christ, ground by the teeth of beasts to become pure bread. Let's turn to our readings from our liturgy today, and let's just look at the first reading from Paul's letter, the very beginning of it, to the Ephesians. Paul writes, Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and the holy ones who are in Ephesus, and faithful in Christ Jesus, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, and to be holy and without blemish before him. In love he destined us for the adoption to himself through Jesus Christ, in accord with the favor of his will, to the praise of the glory of his grace that he granted us in the beloved. In Christ we have redemption by his blood, the forgiveness of transgressions, in accord with the riches of his grace that he lavished upon us, in all wisdom and insight, he has made known to us the mystery of his will in accord with his favor that he set forth in him as a plan for the fullness of times to sum up all things in Christ in heaven and on earth. Well, Jesus is the way, he is the truth, and he certainly is the life. And God gave us his only begotten son, who was without blemish, so that we could have a pure path to heaven. By studying the word and following the pattern of Jesus' life, our Lord will lead us to eternal life. We are the adopted sons and daughters of God through Jesus Christ. For God, all things in heaven and on earth are summed up in Jesus Christ. Through Jesus' blood, we are saved. Jesus died for our sins so that we can experience forgiveness for our transgressions. Through the Holy Spirit, God also grants us wisdom and insight and makes us the mystery of his will known to us. Those are the basic tenets of our faith. The prophets of the Old Testament foretold Jesus' entrance into the world. But many prophets and apostles died at the hands of persecutors who would not accept the truth. When the Messiah finally entered into the world, the scholars of the law were hostile toward him and the apostles. And they questioned Jesus and his disciples at every turn. In many different ways, people of the faith still face persecution today. But as adopted sons and daughters of God through Jesus Christ, we have to continue carrying out that message of Jesus, no matter the cost to those willing to listen. We always have to be willing to carry the good news to those who will receive it. Well, let us pray on this feast day of St. Ignatius of Antioch. Almighty and ever-living God, who adorned the sacred body of your church with the confession of holy martyrs, grant we pray that just as the glorious passion of St. Ignatius of Antioch, which we celebrate today, brought him eternal splendor, so it may be for us unending protection. We ask all this through Jesus Christ, our loving Lord and Savior. Amen. St. Ignatius of Antioch, Pray for us. Have a great day, everyone. Take care.